Hello my dear students. Welcome back to Learn Physics. Today's video is the revision of this electromagnetic waves chapter. It's a very small chapter but so many things to buy heart. That is uh, the difference between this chapter and all other chapters. So many, uh, all the electromagnetic waves and its uses, properties, uh, frequency, wavelength, this and all we should by heart. So, so many things are there to by heart. Here I am going to give some revision questions uh, for about this chapter. So, the first question is, state the principle of production of electromagnetic waves. What is the value of velocity of these waves? So, as per Maxwell, accelerated charges will be producing electric and magnetic field, which will be varying both in space and time, give rise to electromagnetic wave. So, it will be given by the accelerated charge particles. And what is the velocity of the electromagnetic wave? It is the equal to the velocity or speed of light, that is, 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Even if the frequency, wavelength, everything is varying for each and every wave inside in that electromagnetic spectrum, the velocity will remain the same. Next is, what is the ratio of speed of infrared and ultraviolet waves in vacuum? Just now we told the speed of electromagnetic waves is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, right? So, what will be the ratio? Ratio will be equal to 1 because the speed of electromagnetic wave in vacuum is independent of the wavelength or frequency. Next one is out of microwaves, ultraviolets and infrared rays. Which radiation will be most effective for transmission of electrons from a metallic surface? Which will be transmission of electrons will be happening? Uh, for that, which ray is most sufficient, most effective? Ultraviolet rays are more effective for photoelectric emission because they have highest frequency and hence most energetic also. Okay, so after reading out the question, you can just pause the video and try to answer the question. So, it will be a complete revision for you. So, the next one, which part of electromagnetic spectrum doesn't have a frequency of 5 into 10 to the power 19 belong? So, it is depending on, uh, it's belonging to gamma rays 5 into 10 to the power 19 belongs to gamma rays next is how are radio waves produced radio waves are produced due to accelerated motion of electrons in conducting wires or oscillating circuits so all these explanation we had given in the previous uh, two videos you can watch that if you have any doubt regarding this one because here only production how it is how the production of waves and then uh, frequency wavelength and its uses so here next one name the constituent radiation of electromagnetic spectrum which is used in satellite communication for communication purpose we will be using microwaves then which is that is in remote sensing and all we are using the same thing which is used for studying crystal structure x-rays which is similar to the radiation emitted during the key of radioactive nuclei and also used in the treatment of cancer so which radiation we are using for the treatment of cancer and the radiation emitted during emitted during decay of radioactive nuclei during the decay of radioactive nuclei we will be using gamma rays here you can just correct it as decay of not key of decay of radioactive nuclei this is a, through auto correction mistake had happened very sorry for that which has a wavelength range between 
390 nanometer and 770 nanometer it is visible light produces intense heating effect that is infrared light give four basic properties of electromagnetic waves so the properties are the electromagnetic waves are produced by accelerated charges and do not require any medium for their propagation second one oscillation of electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other and they will be transverse in nature and the, it is perpendicular to the direction of propagation also all em waves travel in free space with the speed of light the oscillation of electric and magnetic fields are in phase with each other the ratio of amplitude of electric and magnetic field is e0 by b0 equals c then here one question i am giving the oscillating magnetic field in a plane electromagnetic wave is by equals 8 into 10 to the power minus 6 sin of 2 into 10 to the power 11t plus 300 pi x volt per meter calculate the wavelength of electromagnetic wave and write down the expression for oscillating electric field okay here uh, so uh, such kind of questions if it comes we should take the general equation for the magnetic field or electric field uh, if it is given you can take that equation and here it is asked for the magnetic field right so b what is the formula to find out the value of b b equals b0 sin kx minus omega t what is the value of k propagation constant 2 pi by lambda omega is 2 pi by t capital t that is time period so to find out the wavelength we, what we can use say k equals 2 pi by lambda so in place of k what is given over here 3 300 pi 300 pi is here in the in place of k so 300 pi is 2 pi by lambda from there you can find out the value of lambda now we need to find out the expression for oscillating electric field so e equals e0 sin kx minus omega t will be the uh, expression for electric field so for that we require e0 how e0 and b0 are connected yes e0 by b0 equals c using that expression e0 equals b0 into c and from there you will get the value of e0 what is the maximum amplitude of electric field okay then kx minus omega t will remain the same so i think you, this one you can easily find out same way this from the equation you can directly find out the answer for such kind of questions so i think these videos are useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share in next video we will be starting the new chapter that is optics ray optics okay children thank you